the alien's planet. Chapter 1 The Unexpected Journey Axel, Lara, and Max, three inseparable friends with a thirst for adventure, were enjoying a typical afternoon in their hometown. They were gathered in Max's garage, tinkering with an old radio they had found at a flea market. The garage, cluttered with tools and half-finished projects, was their sanctuary of creativity and discovery. Suddenly, the radio emitted a blinding light. The trio barely had time to react before they felt a powerful force pulling them. They were sucked into a vortex of swirling colors, their surroundings dissolving into a kaleidoscope of light and motion. Clinging to each other, they felt both exhilaration and terror. When the light finally subsided, they found themselves lying on the ground, disoriented. As they stood up, they realized they were no longer in Max's garage. The sky above them was a deep, mesmerizing purple, dotted with three moons casting various hues across the landscape. The ground was covered in glowing blue vegetation, pulsing with a gentle light. Strange, otherworldly creatures roamed around them, some resembling earth animals, while others were entirely alien. There were towering beasts with multiple eyes and small, luminescent beings that floated in the air. The air was filled with an unfamiliar yet pleasant scent, a mix of sweet and spicy aromas that invigorated their senses. For a moment, they were in awe, marveling at the beauty and strangeness of the alien world. However, their amazement quickly turned to concern as they realized they had no idea where they were or how to get home. Chapter 2 Encounter with the Rebels As they wandered through the alien landscape, Axel, Lara, and Max stumbled upon a hidden camp nestled in a dense forest. The camp was teeming with various extraterrestrial beings all of whom seemed wary of the newcomers. The friends were quickly surrounded by a group of stern-looking aliens armed with advanced weaponry, their eyes filled with suspicion. Axel, always quick to react, raised his hands in a gesture of peace. We mean no harm, he said, hoping the aliens would understand. Lara and Max followed suit, their hearts pounding as they awaited the aliens' response. After a tense standoff, a tall alien with striking features stepped forward. His skin was a deep shade of blue, and his eyes glowed with an inner light. He introduced himself as Kalair, the leader of the rebellion against the planet's tyrannical ruler, Emperor Zolter. Kalair explained that Zolter had enslaved many inhabitants of the planet and that the rebels were fighting to free their people and restore peace. Seeing the determination in Kalair's eyes, Axel, Lara, and Max felt a surge of empathy. They exchanged glances, silently agreeing that they couldn't just stand by and do nothing. We want to help, Lara said firmly, stepping forward. We might not be from here, but we can't ignore what's happening. Kalair studied them for a moment, then nodded. Recognizing their sincerity, he welcomed them into the rebellion. The friends were introduced to the rest of the rebels, a diverse group united by a common goal. As they settled into the camp, they felt a renewed sense of purpose, ready to join the fight for freedom. Chapter 3 The Plan to Overthrow Zolter Over the next few days, Axel, Lara, and Max immersed themselves in the rebellion. They learned about the oppressive reign of Emperor Zolter, whose cruelty knew no bounds. The dictator had enslaved countless inhabitants, exploiting the planet's resources and ruling with an iron fist. The friends were determined to help the rebels free their world from his tyranny. The trio trained alongside the rebels, 
mastering new skills and gaining knowledge about advanced alien technology. Lara, with her innate talent for technology, quickly became adept at handling complex devices. She spent hours in the Rebels' makeshift lab, working on a device that could disrupt the energy shield protecting Zolter's heavily guarded fortress. Max, known for his strategic mind, collaborated with Kalayer to map out the fortress's layout. Together, they identified key points for the attack, analyzing security patterns and finding weaknesses in the defense system. Max's insights proved invaluable, helping to refine the plan and increase their chances of success. Axel, always the brave and daring leader, volunteered to lead a diversion team. His mission was to draw Zolter's forces away from the main entrance, creating an opportunity for the main team to infiltrate the fortress. Axel's courage and determination inspired the rebels, boosting their morale as they prepared for the critical mission. The night of the mission arrived, shrouded in an eerie stillness. The rebels moved stealthily towards the fortress, their hearts pounding with anticipation. The air was thick with tension, but the determination in their eyes was unwavering. This was their best chance to end Zolter's reign and free the planet. The plan was set in motion, and there was no turning back. Chapter 4 The Final Battle The infiltration began smoothly. Axel's team executed their diversion perfectly, drawing Zolter's guards away from the main entrance with a series of well-timed explosions and decoys. The guards, confused and misled, rushed towards the disturbance, leaving the fortress's main gate less protected. Meanwhile, Lara and a group of tech-savvy rebels approached the energy shield's control center undetected, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Inside the control center, Lara's fingers flew over the alien keyboard. She worked with precision, her mind focused on disabling the shield. The control room was a maze of wires and glowing screens, but Lara's skill and determination guided her through it. Just as she was about to succeed, an alarm blared, alerting Zolter's forces to their presence. All at once, chaos erupted. Zolter's guards poured into the control center, weapons blazing. A fierce battle ensued, with lasers and explosions lighting up the night sky. Despite being outnumbered, the rebels fought valiantly, driven by their desire for freedom. Outside, Max and Kalayer led the main force to the fortress's entrance, ready to storm in as soon as the shield went down. With moments to spare, Lara deactivated the shield. Max and Kalayer's team charged into the fortress, engaging Zolter's elite guards in a brutal confrontation. Axel and his team, having completed their diversion, joined the fray. Together, they pushed forward determined to reach the throne room where Zolter awaited. In a final, intense showdown, Axel, Lara, and Max faced Emperor Zolter. The tyrant, surrounded by his most loyal guards, fought fiercely. But the friends used their wits and the skills they had acquired during their time with the rebels. Axel's bravery, Lara's technological prowess, and Max's strategic mind combined to overpower Zolter. After a grueling battle, they managed to capture him. As the fortress fell silent, the news of Zolter's defeat spread quickly. The rebels, realizing their long-awaited victory, erupted in cheers. Their joy echoed through the halls, a testament to their hard-fought struggle for freedom. The planet was free at last thanks to the bravery and determination of three unlikely heroes from a distant world. Standing among their new friends, Axel, Lara, and Max felt a profound sense of accomplishment and camaraderie. They knew their adventure had just begun, and with the bonds they had formed and the experiences they had shared, 
They looked forward to the future with hope and excitement.